I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are going to discuss the witchcraft of hashtag alone together. Remember, we are on a battlefield. This world, world meaning time frame, age, span of time is our battlefield. And we fight spiritually against the spirit of Satan and physically against the devil, which is the deceiver, who are the rulers of this last wicked kingdom. Hashtag alone together. Yes, together, let us all go into the lake of fire. Together, let us all be wicked and abominable. We are all together. They are clumping you together with the wicked, with the abominable, with liars, with murderers, with oppressors. We are all together. And we are alone together. Remember Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh the Most High Power had created. And how did he beguile Eve? Through words. Through words. There is no quote unquote God. It's just us humans here on earth by ourselves. We just have each other. We're alone. There is no God. So we're all in this together. We discussed that in chapter 268 and now we're going to discuss alone together. Israel is never alone. In these last of the last days, those of the nation of Israel the mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans, those of the nation of Israel who are turned unto the Father in truth and in sincerity. The one-third is never, ever alone. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. So while this quarantine is going on, this lockdown is going on across the earth. Many people are home, some by themselves, some alone, even inside of their families. Some believe on Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and some do not. And so you may be in a home surrounded by people, but they don't hold the same faith and belief that you do. So you can't go anywhere. Well, you can go online and you can listen to one of the brothers who is recorded being out at camp. You can listen to the brothers give class. You can listen to the brothers who come online and speak this word in truth and in sincerity. And then what happens? Verse 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So the brothers the modern day prophets who speak this word in truth and sincerity were gathered around the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And when an Israelite tunes in and listens, two or more are gathered together in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And there am I in the midst of them. You'd be in your house all alone in the middle of the country. If you've got access to the internet, the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai can be right there with you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 1. And Moses went and spake these words unto all Israel. Verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For Yahweh, thy most high power, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. We are not alone. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 8. 
But thou, Israel, didn't say the entire earth didn't say every nation on the earth, didn't say every family on the earth. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. This is the Most High Power saying that Abraham was his friend. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. We today, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Israelites, we are the chosen seed of Yahweh, the Most High Power, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, the creator and destroyer, and we are not alone. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of the anointed? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. There's nothing that can be done to us in this world that can separate us spiritually from Yahweh Shai and from the one who sent him, Yahweh. We are not alone. The other families and nations realize today they are alone. Their so-called gods are not delivering them. Their idols are not delivering them. Whatever this COVID-19 thing is, it is undeniable that economically people are being destroyed, and that is judgment. And who shall they call upon? Who shall they call upon? Verse 37, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We can conquer anything the adversary and the devil brings unto us. We can conquer this world through our belief in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and our patience, we can overcome this world. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High Power which is in the anointed, Yahawashai, our Lord. Nothing can separate us. The only way we get separated is if we choose to turn away from the Father. Do not let this wickedness persuade you that we are hashtag alone together. We're not alone. We have Yahweh Bahashem, Yahawashai. We have the promises. We've got this Bible. We've got testimonies. We've got prophecies. We have prophets. We as a nation have prophets speaking unto us today, speaking the truth. We are not alone. The second book of Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the Most High Power, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai the Anointed, the Father of mercies, and the Most High Power of all comfort. This is who we can turn to. This is whose bosom we can put our head in securely and say, my father's got me. He's got me. Verse four, who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of the most high power. We're not alone. We have the comfort of the most high power who has chosen us. These other families, these other nations, they understand they're on their own. We have prayed, Father, let them know you as we have known you. And now they're knowing him through these judgments upon the earth. So we have the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 16. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. So Yahweh I said, I'm going to go, and the Comforter is going to come. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, world meaning time frame, age, span of time, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. We're not alone. Don't let, don't let the deceiver take your inheritance from you. 
The second book of St. Timothy, chapter 1, verse 13. Hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me in faith and love, which is in the anointed Yahushai. Hold on to the words. Hold on to the spirit, which is life. Hold on to the truth. Hold on to the truth. These are sound words. Verse 14, that good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, which dwelleth in us. We are not alone. So we have Yahweh, the Most High Power, who has said, I am with you, Israel. He sent unto us Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai says, I will dwell in you. He left. The Holy Spirit came down, the Spirit of Truth. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit comforts us. So we got the Father comforting us. We got the Holy Spirit comforting us. We have the Spirit of Truth dwelling in us. We've got the Spirit of Yahweh Shai dwelling in us, which means the Spirit of Yahweh, the Most High Power, is dwelling within us. And what else do we have? What else do we have? We are not alone. What else do we have? The Book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 11. For he, he being Yahweh, the Most High Power, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Spirit of the Most High Power, the Spirit of Yahweh Shai. We have the Comforter and we've got angels. How are we as the nation of Israel alone together with the other nations? How is that possible? How is that possible? holy, powerful spirits that descend when we speak about Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai dwelling in us if we are turned unto the Father in truth and in sincerity and then angels surrounding us how are we alone? hearken and listen for the truth and you will not get it from the devil the last scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of the prophet Baruch, chapter 4, verse 30. The book of Baruch can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the Bible. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he, he being Yahweh the Most High Power, that gave thee that name, will comfort thee. So when we have the Comforter, the Holy Spirit inside of us, the Spirit of Truth, we understand this. The Father will comfort us. He will take care of us. We are not alone. Verse 31. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. There is misery upon the earth today. And who shall comfort them? The devil knows he's got a short time left. His last wicked kingdom is crumbling and he will reign never again, never, ever again. And for many, they are going into the lake of fire and they want to take as many people together with them as they possibly can. And it's important to understand that you have enemies, Israel. And your enemies want to destroy you. And you must pay attention. The nation of Israel is holy, chosen, and peculiar unto Yahweh the Most High Power. The only family that he has known upon the earth. And that can be found in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 2 where the Father says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities, which he's doing right now, which is why we're in this last captivity. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. We are together with Yahweh, and we are not alone. Hashtag children of the one true living most high power.
Make no mistake about it. World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother Yahawishai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahawishai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahawishai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.